Hello, how y'all doing? I'm gonna to talk to you about this. Kyle Rittenhouse's original intent. What was his original intent of going to a BLM protest in another state? Um, now see, this is my opinion only. Okay, you don't have to agree with me, you don't have to believe me. I wish those Pecklewoods would stop writing me. Okay, I get so tired of uh, coming on YouTube, I gotta block this person, block that person, report this person, report that person. It's tiring. I wish those Pecklewoods would just stop writing me. If you don't agree, me, agree with me, you just don't agree. Period. Deal with it. What was his original intent? This is a 17-year-old chubby cheek white guy who has never faced any discrimination whatsoever okay go through a pizza hut he gets what he wants okay he's never faced any kind of uh, discrimination whatsoever i mean if he had any trouble it's, it's just totally comical but what's the truth of the matter he's been deviant since he was a kid since he was probably 11 12 years old he didn't just up and set up and become deviant at 17 and become a spree killer, a mass shooter, a serial killer at 17 years old. That's not what happened. He's been deviant 11 to 12 years old. Do you think these serial killers, these teenage serial killers and teenage rapists, you think they start at 17? No, they start at 11 and 12. And his mother knew it. His father knew it. She's derelict. She um, don't raise him, don't care, neglectful, all of those things, or all three. He didn't just say, okay, I'm going to be a spree killer at 17. He's, this is something he's been doing since he was thinking about, since he was 11 or 12. It's just that he didn't shoot up the school at that age. He just didn't shoot up the school for some odd reason. I'm just very surprised he didn't shoot up the school he was at. Okay. He's been doing, he didn't just up and do it at 17. He's been thinking about this since he was in like 11 or 12. About being a, scree a spree killer, a mass shooter, a, um, a serial killer. These, these things, these thoughts start at 10, 11, 12. Okay, you just ask the psychologists and the counselors that interview these spree killers, that interview these mass shooters. Now, what was his original intent? His original intent of going to a Black Lives Matter process, with he, a protest which he knows nothing about. I mean, the, about the only exciting thing he could do was go to a pep rally in his high school. Why would a 17-year-old go to a Black Lives Matter process with an AR-15? Because he wanted to kill the maximum amount of blacks as possible. He always knew he was going to be found not guilty because even if he had killed 15 blacks, he knew he was going to be found not guilty. Who's going to put a chubby cheek 17 year old in jail? He's going to claim where the blacks tried to hurt me. Bye y'all. His whole intent was to kill probably at least 15 blacks there. But the problem was three white guys got in between that. They intervened. Three white guys. And they got shot because they think they thought he was an active shooter. And they gave up their life to actually probably protect at least 15 blacks. What was the conversation like in the car? Now, see, there was no testimony about his conversation in the car. Because I know I'm pretty sure he did not drive the car because he's too stupid and dumb. Okay, what was the conversation like in the car? And I don't know why the person in the car did not testify against him, but he didn't, okay? As I understand, there's more than one person in the car. So, what, three people in the car? Okay. We're going to kill, what was his conversation in the car? We're going to kill as many Black Lives Matter BLM niggers as possible. That was the conversation in the car. And, you know, his mother's stupid. His mother's no thing. She ought to go to jail for child neglect. Okay, his mother's stupid for allowing him to go out of state with an AR-15. She's stupid 
She don't even know where her 17-year-old is at that moment. She don't even know where he is. Well, he's out killing some people. Maybe she didn't know that. She's just like these inner city mothers who's 11, 12-year-olds out there killing people. She's just like them. Don't want to know what he's doing. Don't care what he's doing. Now, as I said before, he expected to get acquitted. He was smiling day one because they he knew he was going to get acquitted. He was just going through the motions of a trial. He knew he was going to get acquitted. The judge was bought and paid for. The jury was bought and paid for. Probably Fox News paid them, what, 350k each. The judge, 650k. That's more money than they've seen in a lifetime. He knew that jury wasn't going to convict him. He was smiling day one. No, no, no fear at all. Now, he killed two white men. He maimed a third. But his original intent was to kill 15 plus blacks. Now, he knew the jury wasn't going to send a chubby, cheap 17-year-old to jail. Even if he had killed 15 blacks, they would have said he would have gotten not guilty. Because he would have said, those blacks are trying to hurt me. Die. Okay? Now, he has a bimbo of a publicist. Okay? And he said on one interview he supports BLM. He doesn't even know what BLM is. He doesn't know what it stands for. He knows nothing. about Probably about the most controversial thing he ever went to was a pep rally at school, y'all. Okay? Now, there's one thing that whites... you got to understand the psychology of, a, of whites. They've been telling you who they are. They've been telling us who they are for 400 years plus. 400 plus years. What? 400, over 445 years, they've been telling us who they are. If there's one thing white people, whites cannot stand, they cannot stand blacks who protest against the system, the inequities in the system, but they really can't stand the whites who sympathize with them. They really can't stand that. They get lynched just as much as the blacks who are protesting the system. They get shotgunned down just as much. The whites who sympathize with him. So look, he knew there was going to be some white people there. He was going to kill them too. He's going to kill the 15 blacks. He's going to kill any whites that sympathize with these blacks. That was his original intent, to kill 15 plus blacks, at least. And any whites that sympathize with the blacks. And he, he knew he was going to get off because he's going to say, these people try to hurt me. Die. What's the truth? You know, we can't do anything about him, but he will always be a spree killer. He will always be a mass shooter. He will always be a serial killer. And look, right now, he'll probably tell his mama, I'll kill you just like I kill the other people. He'll tell his daddy, I'll kill you just like I kill the other people. He's going to tell his peers, I'll kill you just like I kill the others. He's going to kill again. He's going to kill again. Like I said, this didn't just start. We of the belief that all of this started at 17. No. You ask the counselors who counsel these mass shooters. It starts at 11, 12. They conceive of a mass shooting at 11 to 12. So just go. His original intent was to go to a BLM protest and kill at least 15 blacks. And any whites that interfere. Bye.